The city of Cincinnati launched its new COVID-19 testing program today, along with several other agencies. Local 12's James Pilcher reports now the first day went smoothly with a really high demand for testing all throughout the tri-state. Monday was the first day the city launched its new testing program in, in conjunction with organizations like the African American Chamber. And officials here tell me so far, so good. The chamber was one of two agencies to host testing sessions Monday. The other was at Corinthian Baptist Church in Paddock Hills, which was also crowded Monday afternoon. Chamber spokeswoman Briston Mitchell says the testing site there handled about 40 to 50 people seeking tests Monday morning, and they got their results within an hour with a wait time of less than 20 minutes to be tested. The site also handed out 30 at-home tests as well. It's important that we have everyone tested so that they can catch so as soon as possible if they are positive with COVID to do the right things to quarantine to keep our communities and families safe. The Cincinnati Health Department says in the last week nearly 40 percent of those testing are coming back positive for COVID. In the last five days, the city of Cincinnati has recorded 4,000 new cases. That does not include people who may have tested positive at home and failed to report the results. The new sites join others operated by Gravity Diagnostics in Northern Kentucky and Crossroads churches throughout the area, where lines have been hours long. The new sites also open the same day as the new mandate from the Biden administration and OSHA was supposed to go into effect. It requires large employers and health care providers to require vaccines or routine testing for their employees or face fines. The U.S. Supreme Court heard oral arguments on that case Friday and is expected to rule soon on whether it can stay in place. I reached out to health officials from other major counties in Ohio, northern Kentucky, to see if they're going to expand testing programs there. Haven't heard back yet, but when I do, we'll be the first to bring it to you. In Walnut Hills, James Pilcher, Local 12 News. James, thank you. And you can see an updated list of the city's testing sites and times on our website, local12.com.